Hi there, welcome to your tutorial today on Photobabble, a great little free tool on the internet that allows you to upload photographs and attach your own voice recordings to them, which in effect makes your photographs talk and that's really much more interesting than just reading text on a screen. So when you're in Photobabble, you'll go ahead and create an account or sign in up on the top right hand corner, but I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go straight into my library. And I'm going to choose to create a new one. Photobabble is pretty self-explanatory in the way you use it, which again makes it really straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the photo that I've got stored on my computer. You can use photos or cartoons, any image you like. If you find one off the internet that you like, you can actually straight away take the URL or the link and place it in this box here, where you don't even need to actually have it physically on your computer. I'll make another video shortly to show you how to find that URL if you're using a Google search for your images. So it's quite important you choose the right one. But today I'm going to go ahead and click create and that's going to upload the photograph that I want to use. And at this point I can go ahead and change the theme. I can change the name of my photo babble to give it an appropriate name. I can choose the privacy setting and I'm going to go ahead and do my voice recording. Now to do so you need to click allow if this pops up and I was using Chrome before and it actually wasn't letting me press that button so if it's not working try a different browser, it's definitely working in Safari for me. Now at this point I'm going to go ahead and click record, it's going to record my voice and just show me how much time I've got to speak. It gives you around about a minute and if you're wanting to have a longer one you've got two options, either you can make two photo babbles and have a part one and a part two or you can just summarise what it is you're wanting to say and condense it into the one. Now if I press stop because I've made a mistake, I'm going to go ahead and press record and it will start recording over the top again. So that means that if you are speaking you need to get it all right in one go. I wouldn't worry about making it perfect and I just pretend I'm speaking to someone. If I make a bit of a mistake then I just correct myself and I keep on going. So when you're happy with it you press the stop and it shows you recording there. It's going to go ahead and press save and we are actually finished. At this point, you can go ahead and take the embed code and you can pop that into KnowledgeNet or onto your blog if you're wanting to embed it directly into a website. Alternatively, if you're wanting just to send the link to somebody to view, you can copy it from this one here and you can paste it into the email to give them or just straight up into the bar. And I'll show you what it looks like to everybody else. So here we've got the photo, and if I press play, it will just start talking through the sound that I recorded. Um, so I'll make an example to show you how it actually looks, and you can check that out. Let us know how you get on, and have a great time using Photobabble.